Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Varnavás Serenci. I'm head of the care department of the Magyar Nemzeti Bank Central Bank of Hungary. I regret that I cannot be in person at the conference. However, I hope that by listening to this video presentation, you will find it valuable how we ensure a reliable cash circulation in Hungary with less central bank involvement in the cash cycle. Let me start by comparing the situation in Hungary some 15 to 20 years ago with what we have now. The three important players in this regard are the central bank, commercial banks and the post office who are the owners of the money in circulation and importantly cash in transit companies who actually do all the logistics. Some 15 to 20 years ago the central bank had a very extensive presence in the cash cycle. We had 19 branches and more than 300 staff in the cash department. We had manual operations in most of the branches and all our administration was paper based. Compared to that there was a huge change. Now we have a minimal role in the cash cycle. We have only one cash center in Budapest. We have 64 staff members including policy, administration, everybody. And most of our operations are automated in a completely paperless environment. The commercial banks have changed a lot as well. Some 15 to 20 years ago, they still had in-house cash operations, sometimes even including in-house cash transport with fleets. They did most of the sorting, ATM replenishment manually in-house. And there was no interbank trade between cash positive and cash negative commercial banks. Now, they have outsourced most of the transport, sorting, ATM replenishment and vault management to CITs. And there is a very active daily trade between cash positive and cash negative banks in banknotes and coins. Meanwhile, the cash in transit company market has developed a lot. Some 15 to 20 years ago, it was a fragmented market with mixed standards and mostly manual sorting. Compared to that, we have a highly concentrated market structure now. CITs act as logistical hubs who facilitate the trade between commercial banks. And most of their sorting is semi-automated now. Let's look at what happened using a few graphs. This graph shows you how the division of labor in sorting has evolved. You can see that in the beginning of the 1990s, there was only sorting by the central bank. And now, most of the sorting is done by CITs. And some of the sorting, approximately one-fifth of it, is done in a parallel manner. The central bank would sort banknotes already sorted by the CITs in order to check their sorting consistency and quality standards. 